This last spring, I was extremely stressed financially. I had called a friend and said, I don't know where the Lord is in my situation. I am trying to knock on doors for opportunities that can provide financial relief, and some of these doors aren't even met with a person answering them to say no. I met with just crickets. I began to feel hopeless, forgotten, like, where are you, Lord? What I was really doing was depending on those things and not having any hope in God's awareness of my circumstance. Two things happened after that call. My friend said to me, Aaron, I know you are financially struggling and are desiring for a way out, but you are extremely wealthy. Don't you see? You have people surrounding you that love you. You are wealthy in friendship and community. Let that be the kind of wealth you see. And those people will be a reminder to you that God is present in your circumstance and knows what you need. He may just in fact use the wealth of the church that surrounds you to provide everything you need. So don't get hopeless just yet. Wealth may look different for you, but you are in fact extremely wealthy. After that call, I had another friend send the exact amount I needed to help me as a gift. They shared that the Lord put it in their heart to give me relief so that I know that my hope is found in God during this uncertain time. It says in 1 Timothy 6, 17, command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Through this, I learned, wealth can look different for everyone. And if I don't see the wealth around me as a gift from God, I will become too reliant on it. We are all wealthy, but this wealth comes from the Lord, not from our own strength, our own performance. May we remember that during the times of certainty and uncertainty.